G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, let's just get stuck into it. What you are going to learn in this video is how you can create your very own custom internal corporate comms crafter using the out of the box Microsoft Copilot agent that you will find when you go to create an agent, but we are going to customize it. I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So we start with the template, but then customize it uh, to use your brand tone style guide that you may have developed and you, I uh, think you really should develop so that your agents can write in the way that you want them to. So you can see here that I've got the corporate comms crafter agent opened up. Now, what this also gives you is the ability to take a look at a well-structured agent, and then that can give you a really good starting point for you to create your own future agents. Now, how do we get to this? Well, on the left-hand side in Copilot, we've got our new agent button on the left, right? So if I just jump back into search, and then I'll start from scratch. So I hit um, new agent, and then I've got a number of different templates that I can choose, right? So I'm gonna say view all agents, um, and then I will go and create a new agent, top right-hand corner, and then I can view all templates. Now, Microsoft provide a number of different templates. Now, I'm all for um, you know, people starting with an agent. Why reinvent the wheel if there's something here already that can give you a really good starting point? So if I go to view all, all templates, you can see that I can scroll and I've got a lot of different templates that I can take a look at and I can start. Now, one of those is our content uh, corporate comms crafter. Right, so when I select that, you can see that I can change this template. Now it gives me the uh, an overview, all right, of what it is on the right hand side. I can see my starter prompts, but I can change this template as well if I wanted to change to something else, right? So let's select and configure this agent. So when I open this agent, you can see I've got my name. I could change it if I wanted to, right? I could rebrand it give it a new logo, give it a new description, or just change it and craft it to my scenario. Now, you'll notice in the instructions that we've got some different sections. Now, this has been written in Markdown uh, as well, right? So that gives you a good indication of maybe some best practices to follow when you're writing instructions for your own custom agents. So we've got some guidelines, we've got some prompt requirements, right? We've got internal uh, section for internal comms. We've got a section for brand and marketing, executive assistant, brand guidelines and standards, right? And we've got the tone, uh, the, the brand voice and tone, etc., right? And if we keep scrolling down, this gives a really good structured um, way to create your instructions. Now, what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to add some knowledge, right? So from the knowledge section down here, we can add documents. Now I'm going, I've got a, a brand voice guide uh, doc that I want this agent to use, right? So I'm going to navigate to the location where I'm storing that. So here is my company brand voice guide and I'm going to select that. So that is then gonna be added to this corporate comms crafter as knowledge, right? And we can see there it is there. So if I scroll back up to my instructions up here, now, and I can see under my brand guidelines, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this section here. So the brand voice and tone. So I'm going to add a line in here and I am going to please always review the company brand voice tone and style from the this document and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to get the document name all right so if I scroll down to the knowledge section here I'm going to explicitly copy this and I will scroll back up to my section here uh, that you have access to in your knowledge, 
All right. So I'm just customizing this to the way that I want this agent to respond, right? And then we could, if you wanted to also, just review the instructions and adjust them and, and make some subtle differences here um, to, um, to really customize it to your company, right? So let's create this, right? So I'm happy with that. I've uploaded my company's brand, tone, style, voice, guidelines that I've outlined in my document. I've just added a single line. What I would probably do is go through and actually uh, customize that a lot more. I'd test this out, make sure I'm happy with the output. So what we might do is let's go and say this, right? Let's create a press release template for a product launch. The new product is, let's go for um, Mystic Premium uh, the, and the Chai, right? So Mystic Spice Premium Chai, right? That is our new product, right? So here it all is here. So now we've got a press release. It's all written, looks good. Let me just have a read. Uh, the goal position and that is reading actually quite well all right so that has followed my tone and style and way of writing all right let's just have a look because in my um, my brand voice I've got some things that I don't want this agent to write like like a, you know your, your generic AI types of, of wording your M dashes and everything like that. So I'm just going to quickly scan and make sure that we don't have any of that, uh, which I don't see in the M dashes, which is good. That is one rule that I had in the document. And from reading this, there's no game changing, there's no revolutionizing, and I've got that written very, very well. All right, so taking an out of the box already built agent like your corporate comms crafter and just subtly adjusting things to make it and customize it to your scenario is a really good way to get started. It gives you a really good overview of a structure of the instructions and then you can just tailor that to suit whatever you are trying to achieve. So there we go. The corporate comms crafter adjusted to your tone, your style and your brand voice.